Pastor Justin with another snapshot from the Bible, and uh, I'm trying to wake up here. It's a little early in the morning, but my sometimes we learn lessons about God from the most unlikely of sources, and sometimes adults can learn a lot from kids. It's why Jesus, no doubt, said, "You know, suffer the children, let them come to me." There's a lot to learn about kids. Uh, so my youngest, Casey. Oh, I'm discovering is quite the prayer warrior. He has very thoughtful about his prayers. He prays in a very sincere way that sometimes I wish I could emulate. Um, and the other day, he really taught us, taught my wife and I something very, very profound. So Casey wanted to go to this store, right? He he was very eager to go to a particular store, a toy store, where he hoped to get toys. And my wife said, "Well, we can go to the store." But uh, we don't have money right now to buy you a toy. Uh, it would just be to look. He said, well, Mom, if there's free stuff at the store, if they're giving away free stuff, I can have it, right? She said, well, if they're giving away free stuff, of course, but usually they're not. He's like, okay, I'm, I hope that there's going to be free stuff. I'm going to pray for free stuff. So they, as they're driving to the store just to, to look at things, he's in the back seat and he's, dear Jesus, you know, I pray that there be free stuff at the store. And he gets there, and there's no free stuff. Uh, there's They get to look around the store, but there's that crushing disappointment that only a child can experience when they have their heart set on wanting something that they don't get, uh, especially like a, a toy. And so he gets back in the car, and he's he's really crestfallen. My, I wasn't there, but my wife said this. She, she said, he just started praying again, but his prayer was different this time. He, he prayed. He said, Dear God, I know that sometimes your answers to prayer are no. And he said, And I accept that, but I'm really sad about it, and I pray that you'll help me not be sad. And I was th- listening to that, uh, that story and going, you know, not only am I proud of him, as, as any parent would be, but of, of a child, uh, I'm, I'm touched because I... I that, that is a very mature way to handle prayer. Obviously, God does not say yes to every prayer request that we have. He has his good reasons. If we are praying in his will, ultimately, we, we can lift up our requests, we can lift up our desires, and he invites us to do that. But sometimes he does say no, or he says something completely different because it's his good wisdom, it's his good plan, and we don't get to dictate things to God. He dictates things for the entire universe, so we have to trust him in that. But there are disappointments when we ask for something in prayer, when we have our heart set on something that's even greater than a toy, and God tells us no. And how do we respond to that? Well, I know some people that that will get disillusioned with prayer, that they'll stop praying. I didn't get the thing I wanted, therefore prayer doesn't work. Or they'll get a little sulky, and I'm saying they, but, you know, me, you know, get a little sulky sometimes, right? Ah, I really wanted that. I was praying for it for a while. Why didn't God give me the thing I wanted? Uh, doesn't God care about me? That kind of line of thinking. But instead, my, my son really showed me that sometimes we need to jump ahead to saying, Lord, you answered my prayer. That answer was no, and I have to trust you for that. And But we're also being honest to God. I think that's important to honestly lift up your emotions to him. I mean, look at all the Psalms. All the Psalms are people lifting up their emotions. They're good, they're bad, they're frustrated, they're angry, but they're honest about it to God. And so often we feel like in prayer, we can't be that honest if we're upset, if we're frustrated, if we're sad, because maybe that's showing doubt or it's disrespecting God. I don't think so at all. I think we need to pray this prayer that Casey taught taught me, where he said, God, I'm disappointed. Help me not be sad. Help me deal with this emotion that I'm going through right now as a response to your answer to prayer and to trust you even more. Uh, So, you know, even pastors learn from kids. What can I say? God bless. Have a great week. Do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? If not, please click the link in the upper right-hand corner to view our message the most important video you will ever watch. Join us for worship Sunday mornings at 10.30 a.m., either in person at 2595 Elmwood Avenue in Kenmore, New York, or on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash KNOXEPC. 
Find past sermons on our website knoxepc.com forward slash sermons. Stay up to date with Knox Church. To receive our monthly newsletter, email office at knoxepc.com. If you need prayer, send an email to pastor at knoxepc.com. You can request text alerts by texting 734-968-1847. Knox Sunday School happens every Sunday at 9 a.m. for kids grades kindergarten through 8th, and for adults of all ages. Email office at knoxepc.com for more information. Knox Evangelical Presbyterian Church. Our motto is truthful teaching, and graceful living. We are committed to growing in the knowledge of Jesus, serving Him by serving others, and loving the body of Christ. To donate to Knox Church via PayPal, Visit knoxepc.com and click on giving at the top of the page, or scan the QR code above with your smartphone or tablet. Special thanks to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and the members of Knox Church. Without them, this outreach wouldn't be possible.